All right, hello everyone. How's everyone doing? It's Chef K here. So the last time we met, we did a, a salsa recipe. So now we're gonna do guacamole. So guacamole, what do you need? Avocados. With the avocado, you wanna make it so it's ripe. You wanna make sure you get one that's ripe. Well, if you get it, just at least wait a couple days till it ripens. In other words, if they get green when you first get them, and then I like to get them a little bit dark, or almost black, not totally black, but you see it's a dark green, and you can actually feel the avocado, if it feels soft that you can start pressing it, and um, there's no air in it, because sometimes it's over. To tell if it's um, too ripe, you might find it's air pockets in it. Uh, don't get that one. So a lot of times get a green one, and um, in a couple days they uh, ripen up, and you they, they'll darken up on you, all right? And then that's good to use. Uh, a red onion. Uh, we're also going to use a tomato, half a lime, and some salt. And I have a little uh, jalapeno pepper sauce. We're going to add that to it also. And, of course, our chef knife cutting board. And this tool is really nice to have. Um, this is actually designed just for doing avocados. So it's a really cool tool. As you see, it's been used a couple times. I've actually broken a couple of these off so at least you know now it's not in the um guacamole because it's off already so you won't find that in the guacamole so anyway so the first thing we're going to do is deal with our avocado so with the avocado it has a pit in the middle so what i do is i just go around and i just go around the whole thing and basically i'm going to split it in half and you open it up oh this one's kind of right it'll open up like that and then what you do is see the tool here, it's designed that you can just go right in it and scoop this out. I'm going to bring this to bowl right here so we can do it and put it right in. And oh my gosh, it, it came out, oh, <laughs> usually it just takes it out and that was like came out more than, usually it goes out in little uh, sections like that, but not this one. And then you want to just pull that seed out. All right. And the seed goes there. Uh, you can save the seed. Sometimes the seed, people put it in um, the pit, I mean. And it what it does, it um, keeps it from churning. Because the avocado, it does start turning brown when it sits out. It oxidizes. All right. And as you see, I'll just scoop in that mixture out. All right. We'll do one more. Again right through and put it right in half and then we're gonna again scoop this one out see this one's not as ripe as that one see how it's kind of pulling out and this scrapes it right out So as I'm doing is I'm cleaning this out. And I'm gonna get that seed out. It's not a seed, it's a pit. Keep calling the seed. <laughs> it's a big pit. And scrape it out. See it so you can see it. All right, now a little messy here. Hands up. So you have that in there. And then this side, you actually take it and you can mash this up. So I don't know if you can see this, but this side mashes the avocado up. And it's good to have a little chunky. You don't need it like mashed to puree. You just want it mixed up. And you can see that's a nice consistency there. And then we're just gonna add our other ingredients and we'll keep mixing that up so the tomato 
almost like the uh, salsa when we did that we we took it and we took the seeds I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna cut it in wedges I'm gonna take the seeds out and I don't know if I need a whole tomato probably a half tomato is fine so this is what we have we can use that we're gonna take our seeds out And again, chop these up. Good enough and we're gonna throw that in there and as you can see now we got our tomatoes it's really looking good now the onion this is a big onion I'm gonna use this whole onion of course just gonna use probably not even a quarter of it. After I got this onion, it wasn't too happy. I could feel it was a little hollow. Felt a little, the onion should feel solid. It just feels a little soft. So I thought, actually, I thought it was gonna be rotten. When I got it, I'm like, uh-oh. It's like funny, now you pick up stuff you don't wanna put it back, right? Because people are a little bit funny about touching things now with this uh, COVID. You don't wanna touch things and put stuff back in a grocery store. Um, we actually watched a lady the other day go through a bunch of peaches and we we're like, uh-oh, she just kept handling them. I'm like, oh, I guess I'm not getting peaches. But anyway, I'm trying to figure out which side to use. I'm not gonna use too much. I'm just gonna do slices. Usually I would cut it in half and then I would um, chop it that way. But instead of going through that whole half of onion, I'm not gonna use it all. I'm just gonna Chop up a couple slices and I'll throw them in. So now you can see we have our red onion, we have our tomato, we have our avocado. And you can see I'm just constantly mixing that up. And then we also want cilantro for this also. Again, cilantro is uh, like a Spanish parsley. All right, and what I do is I, I Pull the, I just snap the stems and then I wash it and rinse it in cold water. And we're just gonna chop this up again, pretty fine. You know, some places they make this right at the table. I think they're faster than me. They have everything ready, I think. But anyway, there's our cilantro. Mix that in. Only a couple more things is our lime juice. Squeeze the lime juice in there. I'm gonna put a little bit of that hot pepper sauce, just a couple of drops. Oh, I might've went over. <laughs> That's all right. I'm probably the one eating this. And then pretty much just salt and pepper. A little salt. Uh, the cracked pepper. Of course, we probably don't need it. We already put that pepper sauce in there. Don't need. We really need a lot of this. And there you go. Fresh guacamole. 
good football season. Truthfully, anytime. Another healthy snack for you right here. All right, so there's our guacamole for today. And again, thanks guys, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.